Today on the North American Journeyman in Costa Rica. We try to finish the season off strong after our disappointment in the Champions Cup. We play Saprisa in the closing stage semifinals. So we beat them right after we lost to Toluca the second time, and then we played Arediano, and this game was pretty wild. With the sending off, we both created tons of chances. They got up 3-1, to one. they could have got up 4-1, to one. and then Marlon Salazar just rescues us down a man, scoring a penalty. He missed a penalty earlier in the game too, and then scored in the 94th minute. Arediano actually needed to win this game to stay alive to try and make the semifinals. And then we went on to beat Santos, who is bad and got relegated. So Santa Ana ended up finishing second, Punta Arenas finished third, and Saprisa, due to a very, very, very late goal in the last day, ended up drawing their last game. Or no, it was Punta Arenas who scored a late goal winning their game and going ahead of Saprisa, finishing third. So that means we play Saprisa in the semifinal two-legged tie today. We also got an email about a grand final a while back. It said that we qualified for the grand final. And I'm not sure how exactly that ties in. Because there's the opening stage, closing stage, I guess if you get first, you go to the grand final. I think the other entrant to the grand final is the winner of the semifinal? Yeah, qualifies to the grand final. But if we win both, I think there isn't a grand final. And I don't know if the opening, yeah, it says that the opening phase winner and winner of the final in the opening phase playoff qualifies for the grand final. So I'm not sure who plays in the grand final or if there is a grand final. All I know is if there's one team that deserves to be in it, it's probably us. So let's see, Suarez is injured. He's gone for a little while. We can chuck Mongi on the bench. Uh, Toch had a little bit of an injury, but he should be back in. We're definitely just going strongest team here. Yeah, Mario and Torres. We might play you too. Contreras has gone off a little bit. He's having a good year, but... Uh, anybody else I really want to bring in? Probably Alvarez. Gonzalez is back in, so we're back into this formation. Hmm. We would like to have a center back on the bench. Yeah, sorry, Yara, you're probably just not going to get to play. That's probably going to do it. Because... Yeah, that's just going to do it, probably. Sure. Let's go for it. We can go all out against these guys. We're doing it for the final. Thought I had my team ready, but now I feel like I'm second-guessing it for some reason. But I'm good. Yeah, they play this formation. Honestly, the other formation probably would have been better, because I feel like this just cancels out at number 10. Vega guy. Keep looking at him. Gonzalez Espinoza is the guy, the winger that I want that won't come here. I think their coach is on the ropes. If they lose to us in this two-legged tie, I'm pretty sure he'll get fired. I mean, they fired the previous coach for losing in the final, so 
And he's been in hot water basically since he showed up at Saprisa. They're probably blaming the opening phase on him, knowing how this save has gone. For me, at least. But it's the away leg, so we'll see what we can do. We're going positive. Maybe this isn't the smart formation to play. It's always good to second guess your tactic. That's always a that's always a good feeling. Now we can do before they score, is we can force them outside. Since they don't have any good outside options. Torres driving inside. Can you find a little pass to Toch? This should be us, though. Mario right back to Toch, and that just slots it in. Shimura should have done better. 1-0. Oh, the fans. Packed stands. We've made a good amount of money from gate receipts this season. But still, another another round in the Champions Cup really would have done us some, some good. We'll see if we get re any reinvestment in the offseason. I'm really interested to see if that happens or not. I'll take a sip here. This water tastes funny. It's got like a, like a sweetness to it. Are they putting sweetener in the water these days? Aspartame or something? Who knows? I don't want to get too conspiratorial in this channel, that's for sure. This is just a football manager. Anyways, Espinoza. Keep an eye on him. We might... Maybe we can steal him. Beal is through it on goal, but... Solis actually makes the save there. Nice. Good from him. We're just going to go balanced. Lofted up. Nothing. Ain't got nothing. We own Saprisa. Toluca owns us. Unfortunately, but we own Saprisa. This is a pretty even game, though. As I say, right before we score our second goal. Okay, now Chamorro grabs it. They want to build out of the back. I don't want to let them do that. I think this guy's pretty good in real life. This left back they have. I don't know if he's an international or not. I think maybe not, but potentially in the future. Azofefa. That's a good name. Jaime. Barrios. Wilson. Beal. Ooh, can we stick a foot in? No, it's going to be them breaking through the line. So he should make that save. Nice. Actually turned out to be a pretty good save. He's playing a 7.3. Good job. We're going to stick with him. We should have some international slots opening up. I'm already plotting. It's safe to say they didn't expect that from us. A real upset? Defying the odds. What? We're the better team. The experts don't believe in us. Just do it for the fans. Team Talk doesn't know what's what here. We're the better team. Are you kidding me? Even away. But, um, yeah, I'm already plotting and planning for the Champions Cup next season. I mean, we have to qualify for the thing, first of all. Try and repeat as Central American Cup champions to give us the bye into the round of 16. But that means figuring out how we're going to spend our international slots, because we got five of them, and uh, the center back, who's not playing today, because I'm, I'm playing Calderon more in the closing parts of the season, because I want to offload... Jeez. I'd like to offload Pinuelas, because he's 31... I'd like to maybe bring back in the center back on loan from Real Madrid and register him. There's another center back from Honduras that I'm keeping an eye on. Um, yeah, I mean, everybody's pretty well happy. I think we go Contreras. Let's just do both wings.
put the Mexican-American center back. Hopefully he picks up the Costa Rican nationality. That'll happen about midpoint of next season. So that should open up an international slot. And I think Totch, I think in, within two years, he will probably have a Costa Rican second nationality. But not in time for next season. So we drop that center back. Swap him out maybe for the Real Madrid guy. And then open up another international slot. And I don't know what should we do. What should we do? Should we go for a goalkeeper? Solis has finally ticked on another half star. And he's getting better. Mongi's nervous. Anxious energy is good energy. We're actually going to swap into this. See it through. I'll take a one nothing away. So I don't know what position should I go for. A winger? There's a young amateur American winger on the right who plays inside forward who looks like he's going to be a bit of a beast that we could just sign him up on a contract. He'd probably want about 200000 a year, which is up there for our wage structure, but we could definitely handle it. Can we get a second here? Totch through on goal. Derek Totch. Conte keeps sniffing around, wondering whether or not... I keep getting asked questions about whether or not he should play for the United States, if he should make it in their team. I think they probably have better central midfielders in the U.S. team, but... Speaking of that, though, since one of our objectives is to win or to get the CONCACAF team to the semifinal of a World Cup. Obviously, one of the contenders for that would be USA. We decided not to go in for that job when it was available. 2 nothing, by the way, away. The doubters eating their words. Good performance, especially from Toch. Actually, Solis. Delighted. Good job. 8.0 from you. Good stuff. Santa Ana, I mean, they're just, they're having a great second half of the year. So, if I was to pick up an international job, USA is probably the way to go for that one. But we also want to win a gold cup with not the USA, Mexico, or Canada. So the top two candidates for that are Costa Rica, who I'd love to coach, or Jamaica, who I would also love to coach. But I think, yeah, I'm trying to sell this guy. Nobody seems to want him because his wages is, are high. Like, that's not high for Mexico at all, like, or the U.S., really. But anyways, our under-20s destroyed the league. Got this young striker. He's, he's kind of okay, I guess. But honestly, in this game, I think, because I don't think USA's, like, youth rating is all that good. Huh? One of our academy players got poached. We had a Belgian in there. Gustavo Sanchez. He doesn't look like he'd be that good. That's weird. Oh, we had youth intake, by the way. And our best youth intake... Player was an American, so that's annoying. Because what high volume of quickness train, whatever, guys, get over it. There's one, there's only a couple games left. This is the guy I'm waiting on, the second nationality. Oh, yeah, he's got a Colombian nationality and Mexican, and 87 days left to be Costa Rican. And he has no caps. He's not great. I mean, he's got issues. Low aggression, low determination, and doesn't like big matches. So, but he is still probably our best center back. So that's the position we really need to strengthen. But yeah, there was a, a couple other decent youth players, but really not. Like, really not many. Sell out. I saw the email coming in or the news article about the guy's position being under threat. There he is. Medford on verge of being fired. 
But what I was trying to get out before all this stuff goes in is that USA, honestly, in this game, their best attempt probably at making a run is within the first six to eight years of a save. Like, that's... I mean, we are kind of within the generation of an American golden generation or whatever, at least in this game's terms, because I don't see a lot of regens that are American that are really that good. Maybe some here or there, but... All right, so Villalobos is a little tired. Fernando Alvarez picked up the injury. You know what? We're going to play Penuelas. And we'll put Villalobos on the bench since Alvarez is injured. Hall's not playing great. He's wanted, by the way, by Al Tai in the Saudi League. Sell Hall for a bunch of money? I mean, I'd like to keep him around. Look at that. He's crazy. He hasn't played great, but he'll get there. He's 19. Um, let's see. Do we want to play anybody? I mean, I don't want to. I guess we will play Hall. We might do this, actually, for the second leg. Is Suarez still injured? He is. That's annoying. We might... I'm not going to play him here, but we're going to do David and then put Har on the bench. Probably swap these two out and then maybe bring Gonzalez on. Do we just play no center back? That's risky. I think we play Martinez. Oh, man. You know, we're just going to bench Torres. Play Montenegro. Because he just hasn't played good. And then we'll bring on a center back. Um, where are you at? Villalobos, I guess? Yeah. That kind of works. Benuelas is in great form. Neither is Martinez. We're going to have words with him, actually. Criticize your form. He's thrilled by being criticized. He'll love to see it. Hall Penuelas, too, maybe? Can't. I think I criticized him recently. All right. Mario needs to play a bit better, too. Contreras is definitely going to come in for him. We obviously, obviously start Salazar. Uh, let's see, what else happened? The next gen top 50 players came out, and I'd say it's 50 players, but I think I tried to count them. There's at least five Mexicans in there. A couple Americans, but because I only have CONCACAF leagues loaded, it was like Almost a third, probably, maybe even a little bit more than that, players from CONCACAF. Like, oh, there was a Honduran in there, there was like a guy from the Bahamas, I think I want to say, something weird like that, too. So again, just loading the leagues really makes the players from those nations that much better, relatively. See if we can close out against the rivals here and get on to the final and then see what what's going on with this grand final business. But, like, I'm not really focusing on the games. I feel like our job is safe, even if we were to go out in this tie. Even though it says disappointed, you shouldn't, you... It's required that we win. The fact that it was required that we win the opening phase, and we accomplished that. And we had a good performance in every other category of our coaching. Well, we shouldn't be under threat here, but if we can get Saprisa to fire another coach, sure, all the better. Let's just own them. And more silverware always helps the reputation of the club and my personal reputation and all that kind of stuff. So, well, no highlights. They have one shot off target in 45 minutes, so that's good. David's on a yellow. He's not playing too good. 
All right. We're clearly the best team in this rivalry. So drive that point home in the second half. That so sounds like something I would actually say. Go, prove them, prove to them, all those fans out there in the stands and all those people in Costa Rica who are watching this game, who the real men are. Liga, not Saprisa. Prove it with another goal here. Here we go. Hall holds it in. Take a little touch. Get down the byline. Whip one in. All right. Relaxed. I like that. Yeah, we're going to play Calderon a lot. Penuelas, we're looking to sell you, but just keep playing good for now. Here we go. Mario, nice little ball to touch. Onside, looks like he is. Head ref is pointing back to the center circle, going, that one counts. That's 3-0. We'll even praise him. Salazar is not doing too good. You know what we're going to do? We're going to make some changes. Um, can, Contreras can play the left side. So I suppose he will. Since Montenegro's not doing good. And... I said I was going to freshen up the midfield three. I will do that. We're just going to wait a little bit. I'll do one now. I want to... You know what? We're just going to do it. Forget it. Just because he's on a yellow. And we'll change the other two here in a little bit. So it's two to two in the other leg. I think what Santorino or Santa Ana won the first leg by one goal, so that one's close. Punta Arenas is actually pretty good, and they've played us some pretty close games. Santa Ana beat us, though, 3 0 in the first game of this closing stage. But then the second time we played them, I think we beat them four to three. So they're not they're not a slouch. Yeah, both these guys are dead. We're just gonna change them up now. Mongi, Yara, close it out. We'll go balanced. Drop that in. Lose the counter press. Just waste a little time. Maybe we're doing that a little too early. That's fine. It's fine. The sub's probably too early too. To be honest, because if we get an injury now. Before this is a goal, by the way. Trap outside. Um, yeah, we'd be down to 10 men. But I'm not too bothered, you know? I think, I think we'll be all right. Nice from Kacharis. Here we go. No mistakes in the back. Back heel flick to the goalkeeper. Yeah, they share my confidence. Because we're owning this league. And this is quite a few seasons straight, honestly, before I even got here, that we were owning this league. Gonzalez, what can Gonzo do? There we go. Get Hall involved. I don't mind that pass. Switch the point of attack, Chamorro. Look like a very late reaction there, but he does make the save. Just. Good effort there on the corner. I like it. They're just, they're livid. They haven't done anything. One shot on target, 0.1 XG against their hated rivals. I'm not sure how actually hated it is. I think the two teams relatively appreciate each other and what each other does for Costa Rican football. I mean, look at that pass. Gonzalez, that's like one of their best players. Gonzalez is one of our best players. Well, I don't know if he's one of our best, but one of our highest potential players, it looks like, the number 10. Old Gonzo. What's going to happen here? It looks like they're building something. Espinoza driving through the lines. That's what they got. That's all they got. If the other tie wants to go into overtime, I wouldn't mind it. 
but it looks like it's probably going to be Santa Ana. No, I think it's going extra time with the late goal from Punta Arenas. I mean, we we just owned them. My arms are outstretched. It did go to extra time. Wow. They scored two goals in extra time. And it's Punta Arenas who makes the final grand final in the final. So I think if we win this, there's no grand final. I think. We'll see. On the next episode of the North American Journeyman. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. We're going to finish out the season with episodes and we'll do a wrap up at the end of the next one. Or maybe there's a grand final. I don't really know. We'll see as we go. But anyways, till next time.